Good morning. Let me explain what you're about to see. The next 10 minutes is my response to my dear friend, Michelle. Michelle does Brightline Eating with me. Um, she did Weight Watchers with me. Michelle and I go back, back, back. And um, she recently got married, and I've been thinking about checking in on her. Um, but she checked in with me. You can read her comment that she left up underneath Flea Temptation Part 1. So um, the, the following 10 minutes is just a video response that I was making for her. But I eventually thought, I'm going to upload this as Part 2 to my Flea Temptation video. Plus, you can see that Little Miss Mary is doing a lot better this morning. So I just made that video with Mary. I'm uploading it now that I'm going to get going, do my Celebrate Recovery daily devotional for this glorious December 5th that God has given us. What a gift. I hope to be a good steward of it. And then I'm going to make this bed and get up and get rolling. Love y'all. Bye. Hi, Michelle. That was your preview because sometimes on texting, uh, some people I can text videos to. Other people I have to go into my camera and make video and then go back. Anyways. Whoa, whoa, Mary is feeling whoa. a lot better about life this morning. I just showed her her on my video from last night and said, look at this cute little hey, kid. Hey, Mama, my gums feel better. Your gums? Yeah. I didn't know you were having gum issues. Anyways, Michelle, I'm glad I made that video because I haven't heard from you in a while. And I started thinking about you and I was like, oh, I need to check on her. Yeah. That girl just got married. That girl has lots of life going on. I love her. You love Michelle? You love Michelle? Yeah. That's a cute little armpit. Um, all right, this is getting so long, I'm going to have to upload it on YouTube. So anyways, I was going to check on you. So good. I'm glad. Uh, it, literally, only because I know myself, and I know you just got married. And if I had just got married... My brain might start bulleting lists about reasons why I should eat more, right? We just should. There's just times where if something good happens, something bad happens, something neutral happens, something boring happens, something funny happens, something exciting happens. There's just times that means that we should ingest more calories. No, it does not mean that. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Um, I also uh, noticed a... Uh, slippery slope in my life. One night recently, I um, ate dinner and then I was still cooking for the kids. And I was like, Greg, I got to get out of here. I was making burgers. And I was like, I got to get out of here. Can I just go to bed? Like I did last night, but I really couldn't. There were six kids everywhere. And I was cooking burgers and only half of them were cooked. And I was like, I sort of jokingly said, Greg, will you take over here and let me go to bed? And I mean, it's just too much to ask. So I said, all right, then Greg, can I eat more? Like, like I obey God, I obey Greg, and I and I trust Greg with my lines, and, and I still want to earn my Celebrate Recovery chips with integrity. So I thought, if I just don't, if I don't binge, eat sugar, or flour, then it counts, right? So I was doing like you, just sort of like, not binging per se, but still dipping my toe into waters that are shark infested. And um, my sponsor told me that addicts like to live on the edge of their circle, yeah. uh, their circle of God's love. And we want to stay in the dead center. So because of that, I bought, hold on, this is worth finding. There we go. Because of that illustration, oh, there's a kid under me. <laughs> because of that illustration, I bought myself this watch. 15 bucks on Amazon. I haven't watched a, worn a watch in years. But to remind me to stay in the dead center of, scoot over Mary, in the dead center of God's love for me. Stay away from the silver edge. That is somewhere I don't want to hang out, but it's where addicts hang out because they try to push the boundaries. Like for me, pushing the boundary would be like having breakfast at 1 a.m. when I get up to go to the bathroom or something and say, hey, it's, it's morning. It's uh, after midnight. Stop it. Um, also it's that great illustration where the man was walking down the field and rested on a fence and Satan came up to him and said, what are you doing? And he said, I'm undecided. I don't know which way I'm going. I'm going to go. So I'm sitting on the fence and Satan said to him, well, the fence is mine. All right. That is exactly what we're talking about. Stay away from that fence. So, uh, forgive me. I'm so swollen because I got so many awesome hours of sleep. Yes. Woohoo. Okay. So anyways, my friend, stay away from the edge. 
Get that, get your butt, nip it in the bud, get it back in the dead center. I'll do the same. I was cooking burgers. Greg said you can have four more ounces of beef. All right. So I measured it out. You stop it, Mary. Stop it. That's very annoying while I'm making a video. She's trying to put my hood on me. Oh. So I measured out four ounces. And guess what? That did not give me the boost of energy that I thought it would. All it did was start up a bunch of chatter in my brain about more, 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 more. And I thought, you know what? That's like having to pee really, 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 really bad. You'd be way better off to wait another hour. Who am I kidding? I can't wait an hour these days. Um, I told my mom, I was like, whoa, something just happened to me. Um, I was like, I cannot hold my pee. If I got to pee really bad, I mean, it's an emergency. And she cracked up and said, you think? Like, welcome to getting older. <laughs> so anyways, let me, let me change. Let me rephrase that. It's like having to pee really, 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 really bad. And then, I mean, you'd be better off waiting 10 minutes than trying to pee out one tablespoon and then stop that, stop that flow. <laughs> that's such a graphic, disgusting, uh, visual and it's like, it's opposite, but I swear it's a good one. If it, it's better to just not eat than to try and eat a little and then stop. It's better to just not pee than to try to pee a little, try to pee a little and then stop. Now that's hard and that takes so much concentration, so much focus. It's painful. I don't know when that would be necessary to only pee a little and then stop, but you get my point. Try it. Sit on the toilet and just practice it. <laughs> That'd be a good, is that Kegel exercise? Oh boy, I need to get focused here. All right, so Michelle, the next night, I, and I went to bed, I, t I called my friend Jennifer and I said, can I talk, can we talk or text? I don't remember. I said, I just want to, for accountability, I want to tell you what I did. I went ahead and f had four more ounces. I'm still going to earn my chip because I did not binge. I did not eat sugar. I did not eat flour. And I said, and girl, it was not worth it. It, the, the cons totally outweighed the pros. I do not want to do that again. And I did it again the next night. I had this big, beautiful, gorgeous meal. So pretty. I'm going to attach a picture at the end of this. 14 ounces of lettuce, tomato, onion, jalapenos, two ounces of salsa, two tablespoons of taco sauce, two tablespoons of, one tablespoon of sour cream, one ounce of guacamole, four ounces of, ch I mean chicken, two ounces, of, excuse me, two ounces of chicken, three ounces of black beans. Like, come on, it was gorgeous. And it was so much more food than I would get in a Mexican restaurant if I was trying to walk the line. I ate this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful meal. And then, um, because the last night I did it and there's no consequences. Yes, there were. And I already reflected on it. But I, the next night, I, my, I watched my husband get seconds. He's being a... I'm not going to say a bad influence. That man is such a good man and gets so much done. I need to back off of him. <laughs> uh, I'm not eating bread. He's out there earning bread. I need to stay in my lane. <laughs> okay. But anyways. Anyways, I digress. I watched him get seconds and thought, well, and I went seconds and you're getting seconds. So I had two ounces of rice because I needed to test it to see if it was too spicy for the girls. No, I don't. There's, do, do you see a trend of like total bull? All those bull. Oh, this is getting so good. Michelle, I'm going to post this on YouTube. All those bullet points. Let's keep, let's keep the four, for, the first four letters in all capitals. No, this is a video that's going to go on YouTube, Mary. And a lot of people might see it. Do you want to say what you just now said? No. <laughs> Do you? No. Can I say what you just now said? Yes. Mary just now said that she tooted. <laughs> so let's don't do that again for a video. Okay? Oh, <laughs> okay? Okay. Okay. Those are not in our videos. <laughs> or not farts. You're not even allowed to say that word. <laughs> that was cute. You look like a little, like a pop. You look like a lollipop. <laughs> okay. Anyways, who needs sugar when you get all this sweetness? Your hands smell good. Thank you. I washed them with that new soap in the kitchen. It's <gasps> vanilla. Go check it out. Yeah, go check it out. Go smell it.
already saw this. Go one. smell it again. You'll love it. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just trying to get you out here. Okay. You can say, but just be quiet. Bullet points. Let's capitalize the first four letters. Bull it points. They are bull. It's all bull. That was a good one. That was a good one. So I did it. I had two ounces of um, rice and two ounces of guacamole. Anybody that's not trying to do what we're doing would say, that is not a big deal. Let me tell you something. Getting up out of God's love for us is a big deal. Sticking our toes in water that they don't need to be in is a big deal. And toe leads to more toes and then feet and then ankles and then knees. And before we know it, we are swimming around in a bunch of crap that we have not um, been swimming in. And because we've gotten ourselves out of it, we've experienced new life um, second Corinthians five seventeen. the old is gone. The new is here done. I'm going to end on that. The old is gone. The new is here. Keep your butt in the dead center. Michelle, I'm so glad you reached out. I'm so glad I made that video. I love you dearly. Here's part two. I'm going to post it to YouTube now. Mwah, 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 mwah. Happy bye. Saturday. Bye. Bye. Do you have any words of encouragement for, cause what have I, Oh, I paid, I pinched your belly this morning. What'd you tell me about my belly that I'm doing what doing good. Doing good. Um, doing bright light eating. That's right. Doing good bright light eating. She said, you're doing good getting the extra fat off. Um, okay. Mary, some women are trying really, really hard to do what I'm, I'm working hard to do too, which is, um, you know, not eat so much sugar and flour and um, trust God and do what God tells them. Can you tell them anything that you want to tell them about um, God or um, doing good and doing what he says or anything? Um, have fun doing what God says. Amen to that. Let's do it and let's do it filled with joy. Now, would you like to end with a prayer for all of us, every single person on the planet that would do what God wants us to do? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm ready whenever you are. All right. Everybody listen up. Mary's going to pray. Dear Lord, I hope nobody gets sick or die, and I hope they do what Jesus says, and I hope they don't eat sugar or flour or binge just on like eating too much food where it makes your belly hurt. Or binge, or I hope they do what God says or Jesus says. Any person what says they do, but not do not do anything what a person says from eating sugar. Do not do do that f from a person saying that. Only tell persons I will from they saying eat bright lighting food. And amen. Amen. Fantastic. What do you say we get up, brush these teeth, and make this bed? Breakfast. breakfast. She wants breakfast. This is that's my girl. I love it. Let's go fuel up. Fuel up. Let's right. fuel up. Let's just go breakfasting right now. That's right. We're gonna go breakfasting. You all have a great day. Love you. Bye.